Hello, procrastinators, and welcome back to the Nerd Cube Show. Goodness, what a time it has been since the last one of these. Elden Ring came out, and 30 hours later, I still don't know how big it is at all. All I know is it's fucking incredible, and it might ruin all open world games going forward. Which is fine, because I won't be done playing it for about 10,000 years. Seriously, every time I go back to the first area, I find new dungeons, new enemies, new fucking NPCs, new weapons. If this isn't my game of the year, I will be surprised. In fact, the only thing that will stop this game being my game of the year is if I don't finish it this year. But enough about Elden Ring. Another release from these past few weeks was Gran Turismo 7, a game that is like a beautiful meal prepared by a Michelin star chef with a big coil of shite plonked right on top of it. In between superb control, stunning graphics, and a cafe run by a man who definitely masturbates over cars, there are microtransactions. Hefty fucking microtransactions at that. At 16 real pounds for 2 million in-game credits, buying every car in the game will cost you over a grand and a half. Of course, you can earn the in-game currency by playing the game, but a recent patch massively reduced the payouts of several races, leaving you with a several hundred hour grind if you want to collect them all. This fucking bait and switch is the worst. I got an early review copy of the game and noticed that the microtransaction store wasn't open before the release date. I couldn't even see the prices. Every review of Gran Turismo 7 that came out before the game's launch did not know how the game was balanced, yet still flung 9s and 10s out like sweets after an explosion at Wonka's factory. And, as I write this on Friday, the game's servers have been down for 30 hours, rendering the game literally unplayable. Seriously, unplayable. The game is online only because of the microtransactions. So welcome Gran Turismo to the Greed Club, a once great series hobbled and currently literally unplayable because money. An incredible feat of programming and love and technology obliterated for a few more coins in the coffers. My racing time is now having to be spent with Forza Horizon 5, a game that's more Richard Hammond than GT's James May, but at least I can play it without feeling like it's going to pull a knife on me. In other news, there's a Doctor Who Fortnite collab that... Okay, fuck that. In other good news, the first footage for Telltale's Star Trek Resurgence is out, and it looks fucking incredible. The first footage for this next-gen set chat them up is literally just a bunch of people having a natter about the politics and land ownership rights of a couple of alien worlds and a moon. Ooh, inject that shit into my veins. That's... Star Trek, bureaucracy and conversation. Throw in a moral dilemma and you're looking at one of the best Star Trek games of all time. I am very excited for this one. Tunic has released after many, many years of trailers and it's received stellar reviews. Built like a modern take on the classic 2D Zeldas, everyone I've spoken to loves it. If you want to stab things and solve puzzles as a small fox in a gorgeous world, then, you know, finish Elden Ring and get on it. And finally this week, Amazon have brought MGM for something something money. That bit's not important. What is important is that someone else now owns the rights to Stargate. So, I have a request. Mr. Bezos, can I call you Jeff? Okay, Mr. Bezos, can we please have more proper campy Stargate? Like SG-1 and Atlantis. Not the po-face Battlestar knockoff that was universe. Every episode should follow this pattern. Hey, a new world! Ooh, they've got interesting technology slash people slash plants. Oh no, we've been captured by the baddies! Whew, we've escaped at the last second and fixed the problem with the technology slash people slash plants. Tilt caps us off with something funny and... Thank you for your time, Mr. Bezos. Right! That's all from me. That tree sentinel isn't gonna kill me by itself. Bye! No, oh, yes, it is.